Utah is in the middle of a storm cycle like this one right here. It can be challenging to clear away all that snow. Plows typically do a pretty good job keeping our roads clear for motorists, but as new specialist Jed Bull shows us, it can be pretty tough getting around on foot. Jed? Yeah, Mike, if you use the sidewalks to get around, take a look at this. You're going to definitely run into some problems. In Salt Lake County and Salt Lake City, by ordinance, it's up to the property owner to remove the snow and ice within 24 hours of the end of the storm. But in all of the neighborhoods that we looked at, this is what we found. Some that had been shoveled and some that never will be shoveled. Once a plow has shoveled the snow and moved the ice and sludge around, that frozen mound can block access to the sidewalks at intersections. Take a look at this man in a wheelchair who was forced onto the road this morning at the busy intersection of Bangor and 3500 South because the sidewalk was buried. County crews were out clearing off public walkways today. Their advice to the rest of us, shovel a path wide enough to help everybody get around. It's best to open them up the best they can for the handicapped wheelchairs and, and to get people through instead of just one little path for us, uh, the width of a shovel. If you run into persistent problems out here with certain walkways, call the Public Works Department in your community and let them know about it. Coming up at 6.30, I'll talk with a woman who was out on her walk and details the hazards that she ran into when she was getting around. For Live at 5, I'm Jed Bowl. All right, Jed, thank you.